This is a hand tent jacket, made from worn out jeans dug up from the bottom of my cupboards. I'm calling it the appropriation jacket, because I don't feel right messing around with another culture's workwear, especially when I could be drawing from my own rich local tradition. I wanted to make something to switch out my tired looking bomber. And after seeing this post on Streetwear Startup and wanting an excuse to buy this book, I decided to try and make a hand tent jacket from my collection of old jeans, including these early 2000s roads imbued with deep sentimental value which would make up the majority of the jacket. A couple of nights of seam ripping and I had eight raw panels, half of which needed patching at the knees and heels. This was where all the fun was on this project. Creating this pseudo borrow effect, enjoying the contrast of all the different colour and texture from the worn denim. With the panels squared off, I could start figuring out how much fabric I would need. I did not have enough. Another night of ripping, ironing and squaring and I had four more panels and enough for the sleeves. I began assembly. The body happened without hitch, giving me a false sense of confidence when I laid it all out with the raw sleeves. I even added one of the saved back pockets to the chest as an added detail. Continuing the appropriation theme, for the lining I used this cotton I'd picked up in Africa but I'd never been sure what to do with. This is where things started to go off the rails. The sleeves were simple enough to construct but it was very late in the evening when I realised that I had made two right sleeves. This is where I lost my patience and my interest in filming. So we can skip the multiple times I sewed the lining in wrong to the first test fit and to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. The jacket was abandoned for some time at this point, primarily because I couldn't face preparing the fabric for the collar. A fourth pair of jeans later, I had made up the collar strip. The pocket had to be removed as it was too close to the raw edge, but I consoled myself by adding the road tag and this fabric loop. So here is the finished garment. I had chosen this project because I wanted to learn something of the Japanese approach to patterning, the oversized silhouette, the drop shoulders. While I really like elements of this, the armadillo-like arms, the distressed details and the Klingon Chancellor heaviness. It feels like I'm swamped in heavy blankets rather than wearing a garment. The jacket pulls and pinches where the bottom of the sleeves meets the body. And when worn on the shoulder line, the back flares out, a problem I've encountered with other tops I've made and I'm really in the dark as to how to fix this. Also, when I do wear it, it feels pretty extra compared to the faithful bomber. And I pretty much live in these skinny jeans, which look terrible when paired with this. So, for now, it's abandoned. It's just too ambitious for where my skills are at. But, for future me, I want to take this back a few steps. Remove one of the panels from the sleeves to bring them up to three quarter length and widen out the opening. Fix some careless mistakes on the lining, put the pocket back on and possibly add a jacket sling 